through college, what was developing in me was I was drinking every single day, like way too much to the point where when I graduated, I knew that I had a huge, huge problem. Some people can manage, I could not. And I was ruining my life that way. So I chose to go to rehab and go get help. And I went to a 30 day inpatient, then a halfway house down in Boca, came back up. And I actually have been sober from alcohol for four and a half years since. Rehab was quite the experience. It really tossed my whole notion about what was wrong with me and about addiction in general upside down. Being that I was an alcoholic, I never really thought of myself as like an addict per se, but when I was in rehab, I realized I'm no better than anybody else. And that really had an effect on me going forward. It's tough. It really is. Um, it's not an easy journey. I would say for people who are struggling really bad, it is a necessary thing. I needed to take myself out of that environment and go where I was going to have the help that I needed and have people around me that were going through the same thing so I could talk it out with them too. So being being in, in rehab for a few weeks, it's hard, but probably one of the best things I ever did in my life. It really did save my life. If I didn't go there and humble myself and learn that I really did have an issue, I may not be here. It doesn't matter what your addiction or substance is, and I know I'm sounding cliche, but it's true. You know, coming from somebody who's been through it, everybody really does have the same issues. Everybody's problems all kind of boil down to the same things. When you can finally realize that and come to meet people where they're at, you become a better person. Seeing other people struggle while you're struggling, it gives you a sense of personal power that what you're experiencing is real. You're not the only one who has seeming trouble with something that seems really easy for other people to handle. Like for me, I couldn't stop drinking. Other people would be like, just put it down. Those weren't things that I could equate. When I met other people who had the same sort of issue, it really gave me insight that I'm not mess messed up, messed up, messed up in some unsavable way. In fact, this is a very normal thing for humans to go through. You know, what they say one in ten people will have an addiction like that at some point in their life. When I hear that, I almost say one in ten people will have that addiction their entire life. Because once you're addicted and you realize that, you, you know, you're prone to addictions or alcoholism or whatever it may be, you have to watch that for the rest of your life. You have to understand that you are very prone to going overboard with things. And I guess ha having that control over myself now, knowing that I can choose my destiny and I choose not to drink anymore I can choose to have my life go well or I can choose to have it go to shit and having that that power over myself now it'll sound weird to a normal person but to other people who have gone through it it means everything so I guess that's my message you know partly is that go get help if you need it if you're going through something go get help and just know you have the power you have the power to beat it there are other people out there just like you there are people out here like me who are maintaining and are still happy years and years later that we went to rehab and finally cut the shit.